Okay, let's move through and attack the pawn. Uh, let's go with my old system, just pushing through the center with the pawn here. There's been a, a massive surge of um, cheating going on um, in on these servers. Let's go here and let's just capture. If he captures with the knight, that's good. If he captures with the king, that's good. Let's go here, tuck in the pawn, king comes back. This is like an old opening type thing. It doesn't mean it's not any good, it's just it's, it's old. Um, you could make it a drawish type thing. Let's just capture this pawn here. He may look to trap it somehow, but... And then we can take the knight if we want to. Just let's have a look at the position first. If his knight moves, then we can take the pawn, but is his knight looking to come here? Yeah, to trap the pawn. Yeah. I think that's what they want to do, so that he can come for the rook. Let's go here with this simple pawn move. Obviously he's attacking the pawn as well with the bishop, so... I would rather stop the knight from coming here to attack ours. So he's brought the knight back, looking for the discover check on the um, pawn. We can bring the bishop back, or we can just bring our knight through. Let's bring the knight through, keep it simple. This pawn now is unprotected. He's going to want to move his knight, I think. Yeah, so he's moved his knight. Our bishop's not trapped at the moment, so he's got a 2 on 1 on this pawn, on our pawn. If I take this pawn, his knight takes. I feel like we've got a nice position, but there's no immediate checks on the king. Can I protect this pawn? I can bring this back, but then he's got loads of bim, loads of pieces there. Could just go and castle. I'm taking the pawn. Let's take the pawn, because he's taking this pawn anyway. So it should be a half decent enough exchange. So if we capture here, then his bishop's going in this type of square with castle. He might go and castle himself now. Oh no, he can't. His king's moved. So we'll be looking to put pressure with the rook on his king. That gives our white square bishop a bit of space to come here. Tag him a little bit. He gets sort of stuck in the corner there, I think. And he's blocked that off anyway. So if we just bring the rook here anyway, so it's like pinning the knight to the king. And then we just push onto the knight, so he loses the knight. Or not. But we've still got this kind of pressure because the knight can't move. Unless his white dark square bishop is going to come down and attack our rook, which probably is going to happen. But then we just take the bishop, I suppose. It's blocked off again, so he still loses the knight anyway. And if he loses himself and takes the pawn with the pawn, then he loses his bishop. But then we lose our knight. Do we want to lose our knight? Our knight can put a check on the king, but the king can come down and attack it. So it doesn't have to do a check on the king, it can just move out of the way, can't it? But I'm trying to win a tempo, aren't I, really? Comes there, the king drops down for it. Then the knight comes and attacks, no, mm, knight comes and attacks the bishop, but the bishop escapes. I don't like the look of it, but I'm, I'm going to do that. I really wanted the bishop, I should have just taken the bishop, maybe. Do you know what? I can still take the bishop because the rook is protecting the knight. And then we've got to discover check on the king. I think if he'd have come this way... Oh, they've resigned. Okay. 
Right, okay, that was a nice. I don't think we need to do any evaluation on that one. Um, that was um, looking at positional play. I think maybe if the king had come to this side here, d7, I wouldn't have been able to do... Yeah, I would have still been able to defend the knight because my rook would have been defending. Yeah, good call.